Right then guys, Gaft is back with the gimmick box, Gaff box 2.0. We're going to build it start to finish because I've just actually sold one, so uh, just watch and enjoy. This might be a long video, so we've got a empty tuck box we're going to cut up. Cut that one open. This piece is going to cover the magnets inside the box. So we're just going to trim that down a little bit narrower than the actual box itself. And I'm going to cut it where you've got the angel in the middle. I'm going to square it up and cut it pretty much down the waist. And that bit's going to go in the box. So now I'm going to get my tape, if I can find the end. Now I always use tape, electrical tape, purely because if there's ever a time when the gimmick breaks or you want to change your mind to do something else, you can easily strip it down, pull the magnets out, start again. And it's a lot less... Um, painful than using glue because you always end up getting glue everywhere so we're going to take a little magnet place it not too close to the corners just so I can stick the cards down and I've literally got a few mil of tape now I always put the magnets on top of each other just so I know I've got the magnets round the correct way get it off my finger I always put four top and bottom. Stick them down. Just make sure I press them down. Now this is going to go into this other box. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to fold this bottom flap down. I'm now going to coat the whole back of this with a good brand of glue stick. Pritt stick in the UK is a good brand. So we're going to just stick, put loads of glue on, especially the end, which is going to be at the top, which this is the top end. Loads of glue. Just clear it off my fingers. And this is going to go into the box, just like that. I'm going to push this flat down to square it all up. Make sure there's no glue on my hands. And then press it down firmly. Making sure it's all stuck. Now I'm going to keep doing that several times. And at the point when you've completely finished the gimmick, it's going to go in a box. But just two seconds. Oh no, they're here. So that is that bit. Right, we're going to make the top of the box bit now. So we need a bicycle card. Now this is a blank bicycle card. It doesn't need to be a blank card, but I couldn't find anything else. And I've got a lot of blanks. So I'm going to square that up onto the box. Get some more little magnets. Drop them in. Make sure it's all squared up nicely and then cover those. So we're just going to cover these up. Making sure everything is nice and square. See, super glue is a good stick, but it's just, oh, you get it all over your hands. Right nightmare. Put that one on there. Right, pull that off, make sure these are stuck down well. Yeah. Right, that's that bit. We need to get the top of the box now. So what I've got here is a couple of bicycle cards stuck together just to make a template. I'm now going to go back to this piece that we cut off before. Fold these corners in. Get a little bit of glue just on the bottom of there and stick this in here. 
Now I'm going to fold these edges in nice and evenly so we know that it's square. Get your trusty knife, nice sharp knife and score down there. Tear these last few bits off and round off the corner. Right. Bit of a scruffy edge there. I'll trim that off if when I stick it onto this blank card it overhangs a little bit. Trusty glue stick again, plenty of glue. And I will even actually apply some on here. Get off my hands. So the edges you want to be make sure there's plenty of glue on the edges. If anything, it's going to peel away. It will be the edge. Right, make sure you got this card round the right way. The orientation of the gimmick. Make sure everything looks perfectly square. Just squeeze the corners a little bit. Make sure it looks square. Now once I've done this piece, I would put this in a book. Now there is a tiny bit there. So I'll just get rid of that little bit. And that should attract perfectly to that. So that's that bit. Now I haven't got a book to hand, so I'm gonna slide that under, under the mat for now. Right. Next stage is, as I'm going along, I'll make sure I keep squeezing this bit. Make sure it's all stuck down. Yep. Um, next, we need a double blank card. We're going to place that onto the box again. You're going to get your magnets, but you're going to make sure this blank card is pushed up to the top of the box because this is going to be the blank piece which is going to sit inside up to the top there so we'll just make sure that is up to the top which that's about right get your magnets now these top magnets are going to be covered with white masking tape about two centimeters square the bottom ones are covered with black because at some point you are going to pull these bottom magnets off. You do not need them. So we just stick that down. Now we get the white tape. We're using white because this is slightly visible at one point. But they never actually see it. But it's better that it's white instead of black. Put that there. Pull this piece off and make sure that tape is secured well, especially on the white ones. Now that piece is going to go in this way and it will hide like that, see? Now the reason you've got the white magnets is at some point it's going to be this way around. I don't know if you can see. So you can see inside there a little bit. Oh, that's already pulled the magnet off, look. A little sod. Right, hang on a second. Put it back on there, drop that back on, and put me black tape over it. Right, make sure that's pressed down. So that's that. Now you're going to take this, this way round, tape, oh, tape facing down, sorry. You're going to slide it into the box. 
we're going to square it right up to the end of here to the top some more magnets stick them down Is that one that's it making sure it's square on the top there like that and now we'll stick these magnets down so there's quite a lot of magnets in this one gaff box what is there 4 8 12 16 18 little magnets in the one box so we'll stick that down there and we'll stick this one down there just make sure that tape is pressed in securely you can now remove that So that is going to sit like this, Ooh. like that, and when you push it, it will attract to the other side. So we can pull this out for a minute. Just give this box a squeeze again to make sure that's setting that glue. Now we want another card. I'm just going to use a bicycle card and cover the top. So literally, you're just going to glue this now. Another blank card. Like I say, guys, I can't find any normal bloody red cards all the stuff I have I find it virtually impossible to find a red deck of cards right loads of glue splashy around the edges right get, get clean my hands up a bit and we'll cover this So that'll go on there, up to the top, square on the back. That looks good. Push it all down. Just making sure it's square on the top. Yeah. That looks good. Now we're going to get um some seal stickers and we're going to stick that about there i'm going to cut that bit out now so i'm going to stick that under there now i'm going to trim this seal back from the top of the box a fraction just so it won't start to peel off at some point should be able to just tear that out now there we go that's that literally half a mil from the top Let's get rid of that now you get your trusty hole punch now this bit is a bit awkward you've got to do it this way round this way round sorry upside down basically so you can't actually see how much you're taking off so but about about that much because you want <coughs> You actually want a bit of a half moon just so you can slide that card out from underneath. Right, keep pushing this down as you're going along. That's that. Now we need some other cards. Now, when you're making this bottom gaff, um, make sure you use a card which hasn't got a border. It doesn't want to be a picture card or a high number card because you do have a bit of ink here and sometimes it's visible when you cut out this plug. So we're going to square that up with that card. Square it up. Like that. Get your, ooh, get your magnets. Stick them down. Once again, get a bit of tape. That's one, two, three, four pieces. Square that up. Stick them down. And one more piece. Right, just 
make sure these are pressed down pull that off once again like I say just keep pushing this down right before you glue these two cards together you've got to put your seal on here so which way around was that card that way so you get another seal I'm going to stick it in the same place roughly as on the box which was about there once again trim it down a tiny bit get rid of that now we're going to cut this bit out probably about now this doesn't matter if it's not perfect with the box as long as it looks very similar and that is similar and now we're going to stick this over here making sure the orientation of this is correct that way right plenty of glue again especially on the edges don't want it peeling off Oh, what I should have said, which is I've made a little mistake here. Only a little one. Put the glue on the back of this car because you don't want any glue up here. But that's all right. I can get that off before it sets. Lovely. I'm going to stick these down. I know the orientation, the magnets, there's more gap at the top than the bottom. Square everything up. Make sure it all looks nice and square before you really stick it down. See, look, I didn't want any glue in this half moon, but I can get that out, no trouble. If you do get glue there and you, you struggle with it, get out as much as you can. And then the last bit, when it's dry, you can just get a pencil rubber on it and get the rest out. So you can literally pull it out with your finger. It might get a bit dirty or just let it dry naturally. But I can get a pencil rubber on that and then rub that out. So don't worry about that dirty mark there. That will come out with the rubber when the glue's dry. So that's it. So let's move all this out of the way. You pull these bottom little magnets off now. You don't want these. So we'll put them back with the rest. Make sure that's stuck down. So you've got your top of the box. You've got your hideout flap, which will go inside like that, and then will attract to the bottom. And you've got your bottom of the box gaff. So you can steal cards from under here. Um, I'm going to go and put all this in a book now. And when it's all dry, I will clean this up. And then this will be posted in the morning. So that is it guys, that's building Gaffer's exporter gimmick. The top of the box gaff and the holdout flap. So I'm going to go and put all this in a book and uh, post it tomorrow. So make sure to smash the like button guys, subscribe to Gaffer Academy, post notifications on and you know what to do if you want any of this. Cheers.